So today I'm going to be showing you guys some of my favorite blushes. Um, also bronzers, but I feel like there's, well, it's kind of equal. So yeah, just some of my favorite blushes and bronzers. I was going to add in highlights, but I don't really have any favorites. Um, I like the Amrezy from Anastasia, however you want to say it. But um, that's kind of like all I wear. I have like a, I have a lot of highlights, but again, like I'm just not like a big highlighter person. I wear it, but like I'm not like... I love them. So if you want a favorite highlighter video, I'll make it, but um, it'd be very short and it's like, it's not a passion of mine. Like blushes and bronzers are some of my favorite things to buy. So I kind of have a lot of them, in, but these are my top few like favorites. So I guess first I'm going to talk about bronzers because I don't know. It's just the first thing in front of me. First, I'm going to show you guys this e.l.f. bronzer. It doesn't have anything on the back like a normal bronzer would. But, I mean, they I doubt they have mini bronzers. I think it's the one that was, like, the primer-infused, sun-kissed one, I think is what it's called. Um, I'll find it and link it down below, because if I see the packaging or, like, name, I'll know. But it's just a really nice bronzer. It's a nice, like, cool tone bronzer, in my opinion. Um, I'm not wearing it today. I am wearing one of these, but I'll show you what I'm wearing. This is just like a nice everyday bronzer and it, I remember it was super affordable, I mean it's e.l.f. Um, I mean, I don't know, it's just a nice bronzer and you know, e.l.f. is really accessible so it's just a nice bronzer to pick up and it stays on really well, it's not patchy and yeah. This one I have to show you guys is this Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder. I have the lighter skin one because I'm very fair right now but um, whenever I get more into summer I'll probably pick up the medium skin tone one or if there's even a medium one. I know there's a darker one, but um, anyways, yeah. First of all, it smells amazing. Just kind of smells like Pina Colada E, like kind of like how the butter bronzers do um, from Physicians Formula. I like the way this one smells a little bit more. The butter bronzers to me can get kind of like overpowering, and it's like I feel weird putting it on my face because it's like perfumey, like it's extreme. This one is just like a little waft of like tropicalness, but anyways, it's the smell doesn't really matter. Um, I just like the tone of it, like I said with the e.l.f. one, it's pretty similar, probably a little lighter, so if you're a little more fair, you'd really like this one. Um, you get like a giant pan, this is going to last me forever, and I'm pretty sure it was only $4.99, I got it from Ulta, but um, yeah, it's just a really nice bronzer, and I enjoy how it has like the giant pan thing, because you can just go like, whoo, 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 like, you know, with your brush, you're like, you don't have to care, you know, it's so big. But yeah, just one of my favorites, I guess. <laughs> Next thing is more of like a um, highlight and contour palette. I mean, that's what it says on there. It's the Sigma Sculpt um, Highlight and Contour Palette. And this is what I'm wearing today. So um, whenever I bronze my face, I do like the three motion. I put it mainly right here, but I, I take the excess and put it on my forehead and everything. So my favorite shade in here, looks like I've never used it, but I swear I've used it a lot. I just... I don't know. I guess I, I'm not messy with it. But I'm using this one today. Whenever I'm tanner, I use the throw shade, which is the one in the middle. And hollow is a little too dark for me, like no matter what. Sometimes I use it in my crease, just if I'm like rushing. But um, sometimes I will throw it in here, like in the like depth, the deepest part of my cheekbone, if you know what I mean, like the most hollow part. Oh, which is funny because it's called hollow. Haha. <laughs> So I guess that's what it's supposed to do. It's just like, it's more of like a natural, like it just makes your cheeks look a little bit more like... But this has been my favorite like contour palette and the highlights in here are really pretty too. I know I said I wasn't going to talk about highlights, but it's in here. So, and I'm actually wearing these highlights today. I'm wearing the like middle one and the lightest one. It's like those two at the bottom. They're called Shine On and Pop In. But yeah, this is just a really... And it has a mirror in it too, which I enjoy. I think I'm going to swatch the highlighters because they are really pretty. Again, this isn't a highlight video, but... I, like, never hear anyone I feel talking about Sigma. Or at least people I watch, like... I don't know, I feel like they were really big a while ago, but now it's, like, all Morphe, which... I'm not the biggest Morphe fan, but... Just, like, look at how pretty those highlighters are. It's not focusing so you can't really see but you can just see they're like not too glittery they're just kind of like you know smooth and pretty and shimmery but anyways yeah so that's my favorite like contour palette i used a while ago i used the kat von d one but um 
I don't know. I, I like this one a little bit more. I don't know why, but I do. Ugh. This, like, my baby hairs right here annoy me so much. If you guys know of a product, like, I know some people, like, use, like, little, like, pomades and gels and stuff to kind of, like, just get them into place. If you guys know of a good one that's cruelty-free, tell me. Because even whenever I leave my hair curly, you know, they go freaking, like, sicko mode. Like, they go crazy. And so I have to, like, mm-mm with, like, my gel. But my gel is a light hold, so it doesn't stay. But, sorry, I'm, like, thinking, oh, my God, I I'm getting so sidetracked. They're just so annoying. But if you know like a pomade or wax or anything that I could use to like make my baby hair stay, let me know. Next, those are the only bronzers I had. I don't, I mean, I have a lot more, but those are my favorites that I use mostly every time. So, oh, next I'm gonna go over blush products. So the first ones I'm gonna show you guys are the Cloud Paints from Glossier. They're in these cute little like paint looking tubes. Cause you know they're called cloud paints i have the shade puff and the shade dusk i use dusk way more you can tell it's a little more beat up but um these are just really pretty the thing about them is i don't use them a lot because they're just so pretty i don't want to like use them up and have to order more because i hate ordering stuff and glossier like i live in north carolina so i don't have a glossier store so yeah i have to order them and i hate ordering things because I, I just hate it so I love these and they're very pretty. I'll swatch these because I feel like with bronzers, it's like, yeah, it's a bronzer. And you can see what shade it's going to be in the pan, but with blushes, it's a little different. I don't want to waste it. Ugh. But yeah, I only use these whenever I'm like doing a no makeup makeup look and I just take a little bit and put on my cheeks and it's so natural and pretty, which is kind of like, you know, what Glossier is known for. But um, Dusk is just a more like orangey. It almost looks like a bronzer, but it's really not. I have it on today, but I put blush, more blush on top of it. So, um, you know, it's not really true to its color. But yeah, it's just like, this one's really pretty in the summer. I love it. And this one in Puff, I use this less, but it's still really pretty. Just the formula of these is really nice. And a little bit goes a long way, kind of. Like, not really. But, um... They're definitely pigmented, you know what I mean? So Puff is more like a classic blushy shade. It's just like a nice, pretty pink. So yeah, sometimes I like to mix them, but they're just really nice. Yeah, they're just really cute. They are they stay on well. I just really like them in the summer, honestly, because like whenever I go to the beach, I don't want to do my makeup, but I want to look cute. So I'll just take some of this, put it on my cheeks, do my eyebrows. Maybe put on mascara if I'm feeling fancy and I'm good to go. So yeah, this is probably like my favorite like summer blush type thing to do. Next I have this Nude Sticks Nudies Matte All Over Bronze Color. Oh, so I guess it's, this is a bronzer, but I use it as a blush whenever I use it. It's in the shade Sunkissed and yeah, okay, it does kind of look like a bronzer now. But I use it just as like a blush to make me look sunkissed. I don't put it like with a normal like stick bronzer. I would do it like, you know, like you know where you put bronzer but this I just do like two like dots and I blend it with the brush on the other side but um it just kind of makes you look sunkissed which I really like and I mean that's the name of it so it's doing its job I'm gonna blend it out with the brush the brush like isn't the easiest to use but it gets the job done you can't even really see it well yeah you can it might arm is just weird but yeah I guess it is more like a bronzer, but I use it as it's like a blush bronzer, like a combo. Because whenever I use it, I normally don't have to use bronzer. I just, you know, do this and blend it right here, like, you know, in this general area. And it makes me look sun-kissed and nice and fresh and not as dead. And yeah, and nude sticks are honestly really pricey, at least in my opinion. But I think they last a long time. And with this, truly, a little bit does go a long way. So you don't want to put too much on at one time. Um, I would recommend like building it, you know, doing a little bit at a time so you don't overdo it and waste any. But yeah, and the little brush on it is really handy if you want to like travel with it or put it in your car. Um, yeah, so those were the only like cream type blushes I had to show. Next I have these Jouer, I don't know what they really call these, um, blush duos. Yeah, just blush duos. I have um, Rose Gold Blush Duo and the Adore Blush Duo. I like Adore a little bit more. Um, it's a duo, but whenever I use it, I kind of just, you know, take the brush and put it in both. 
they're really messy because I use these a lot but um I don't know how I'm mean, running out of room so that's gonna be a door and then this one is hold me can you see those on me I suck they're pretty blushes okay <laughs> they're not patchy at all um, a lot or sometimes I'll put mostly this on and then put a dab of this on if I'm doing like a no makeup makeup look because again like I don't like my blush to be like really banging whenever I'm not wearing much makeup because then it just kind of looks like rosacea which um I'm not going for but uh yeah just really pretty blushes and I'll show you the rose gold one next um I definitely use adore me that's what it's called right it's not called adore me oh wait that's what one of the shades is called I definitely use this one more, Adore. That's the name of this one. Now, I'm saying it so much that Adore doesn't even sound like a word anymore. It just sounds like I'm saying like a door, like a door thing. Anyways, I need to stop. This is the rose gold one, and this one's just really pretty if I want to be like super blushy and I want to have a little bit of glitter in my blush. Um, this one's mainly matte. It's It has some sparkle to it, but... You know, it's more of a satin. This one is like kind of like glittery, which I know some people don't like, but it's not extreme. Um, these are more like nude blushes, the Adore palette. So maybe if I, whenever I swatch these, it'll be a little bit more like. I feel like Tati. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. um, anyways, <laughs> so that one was the more like glittery shade, and I mean, like it's not like shining, like it's not like extreme. But I like this shade a little bit more in the palette than like non glittery, which you probably can't even see. Well, you kind of can't. I don't know. It's just a nice wash of color. But yeah. Um, the Jouer blushes are really pretty, and I wear those a lot. But these next ones I'm going to be showing you guys are my absolute fave. They're the Buxom blushes, and I have every single shade except for one. I'm missing the shade Havana, which I think is in my room somewhere, but I just couldn't find it. Um, if I looked harder, I probably could, but I wanted to film this video. So, um, yeah. So, I'm going to go through the shades, and these are just so nice. They go on so pigmented, so you don't have to use a lot. I'm wearing one of them today. I'll show you the one I'm wearing today first. I'm wearing Mykonos, which is this really pretty, like, peachy pink color. So, yeah, I'm wearing kind of a lot of it, but it just looks like I've been out in the sun, and I've been laying out, and I got kind of sunburnt, but, like, in a good way, you know what I mean? Um, it's just so freaking pretty. I don't know if it's like showing you how pretty it is on camera But it's freaking Amazing and these are primer infused as well just like the elf bronzy so they stay on so well Like tonight i'm going to a party. So I w I used a whole bunch of stuff that I knew would stay on good um And I know my blush is still gonna be on by the time I go to that party and it's gonna be on whenever I get out of the party Because these stay on so but anyways, I'm going to show you guys the next few shades. This one is Ibiza. See, I like, I know them so well. I know the name. But Ibiza is more like a cooler tone blush. Very pretty. Um, I think my mom likes this one a lot. Ugh, water gun on it. What the hell? What that is, it's like wet. Blech. Anyways, so I think my mom likes this one a lot. Uh, I feel like it looks really good on... Um, I've also blonde skin. What the hell? Blonde hair. I feel like, I don't know, cooler tone blushes do. Like, whenever I had blonde hair, I feel like I used a lot more cooler tone type things. But I already showed you guys. What am I doing? Um, next one is Dolly. This one's probably, like, my least favorite. I still like her, but um, she's just kind of dark. But she is really pretty. And I know Dolly's, like, Buxom's universal color, so... I'm assuming this is supposed to be like a universal blush. Again, it's pretty. It's just kind of boring, but but national emergency. Um. Okay. This one is I don't know how to pronounce this. It's G O A. So like Goa, Goa. I don't know. But um. Oh wait. I guess the names of these blushes are Wanderlust, Wanderlust Primer Infused Blush. I guess that's the like. I didn't know they were called Wanderlust. I knew they were primer infused. But anyways. Um, I'm thinking out loud. This one is super pink and kind of dark like the dolly, but more pink. This one I don't wear that much either, but it's still really pretty. If, you, if you're if you tanner, I feel.
feel like it would be pretty like I just put like the little spit on my arm and I don't know it's pretty but again my favorites are Mykonos and Havana and Havana is like a lighter cool tone pink but it's just really pretty on like everyone anyways and this one's Seychelles Seychelles I think it's pronounced Seychelles it's like S-E-Y-C-H-E-L-L-E-S -E -E isn't that like a place I don't know I mean I'm assuming because all these other places thing names are places right no they're not oh my god <laughs> I I'm such an airhead. Okay, but anyways, this one's like a cool color. It's like a no blush blush. You know, it's super light and it's kind of brown, but um, whenever you put it on, it's very pretty. I like this one a lot too. This one would probably be like my third favorite. I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see it on me. Probably not. It's right there. Oh yeah, you can see it. But yeah, it's just like a pretty blushy nude color and it's really pretty and these all have a little bit of a shimmer to them but none like not chunky glitter or anything like i feel like anyone could wear these i'm at work um i can sell these to anyone like someone my age someone maybe even a little younger i've sold them to like ladies that are like in their late 60s like they're just really pretty on literally everyone and they stay on again very well which is probably my favorite thing about them Aside from, I think the color choices are really nice too. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I made a video yesterday, or at least I posted a video yesterday of my favorite, what was it? Like lip products. So if you guys want to see that, um, go on my channel and you can see it. Or I'll link it down below so it's easier to access. And um, yeah, subscribe if you want to. Follow my Instagram. It'll be down in the description. And like this video if you um, liked it. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.